Yeah, Stephen Stacey, not only will this proposal affect student athletes, it could affect businesses in the state as many companies oppose this legislation. This bill is a political wedge being used to divide us, and it does not have to be this way. Heated debate in the Iowa Senate as lawmakers argued over a proposal that bans transgender girls from participating in K-12 and college sports. Athletes can only play on women's sports teams if their sex is listed as female on their original birth certificate. All through high school, I participated in all the sports I possibly could. A few Republican senators say this is personal. They fought for Title IX, a federal law enacted in 1972 that protects women and girls from sex-based discrimination, including in sports. A no vote on this bill would strip Everything that my age bracket has fought for our girls to be in sports, to be recognized. Republicans say this transgender proposal is about fairness, but Democrats say it excludes and isolates an already vulnerable group. Why does this legislature have to further police the lives of some of the most marginalized people in our society. A huge impact could also be on businesses. More than 40 massive companies have already publicly denounced this legislation, saying anti-LGBTQ laws negatively impact workforce, recruitment, and productivity. The list includes corporate giants located in Iowa like Amazon and Wells Fargo. Apple is also against it, which may or may not impact a billion dollar data center planned for Waukee. For years, business leaders have told us over and over and over that proposing legislation that excludes LGBTQ people from full participation in daily life is bad for Iowa. And we asked the Greater Des Moines Partnership if they are at all concerned about the impact this could have on our state. They sent a statement which says, in part, we must collectively work to ensure the Greater Des Moines region and the state are welcoming and inclusive to people of all backgrounds. Stacy.